He's nine years old. He's crazy about baseball. He's Brendan Moran, and this is The Brendan Moran Show, executive produced by Keegan Moran. Yeah, um, he really does nothing, but um, yeah. So, episode five. And wait, first, Corbin Carroll this week, I think, got NL Player of the Week. And do they give that, that out every week? Yes, they do. Oh. You got Player and Pitcher of the Week. Oh. Well, and I... They, then they also do uh, Player and Pitcher of the Month. And sometimes, depending on how your contract is, if you get those, you get um, you get more money. You get, like, you know, bonuses. Oh, nice. So, welcome. welcome, welcome back to the Brennan Moran Show, episode five. I'm Brennan Moran, and the air, uh, blah, 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 okay. Since May 28th, the Diamondbacks are 12 and three with two game winning win streak. They swept the Rockies, Nationals, and the Tigers during that streak. At the beginning of the season, I predicted. I think it's uh, two six game win streaks. 12 and 3 with two six game. Oh, yeah, two, whatever. Yeah. And those are the, the longest win streaks that they've had this season. Would win 85 games. Oh, wait, I predicted the D backs would win 85 games, and the team is now 48% of the way towards that total. Except experts are predicting that the D backs w- will win between 80 and 96 games, the average predicting 87 wins. It was the only one. I was the only one predicting the this before the season started. Some team should hire me to run th- their stats department. <laughs> sure, but uh, I'd rather be an umpire, or maybe Co- I'll be a player. Can we talk about that for a second? You you said eighty five games, and I, I thought you were a little crazy. But they're they're almost halfway there. Uh, last year they. Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the Yankees. Look at here. They're 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 just they're they're just like they're they they can't actually do something. They actually got to do something. Well, they are doing something. They've got a lot of injuries, though. Yeah, I don't care about the injuries. Blah 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 blah. I don't ca- I don't care about Aaron Judge. Uh, blew past this thing, broke his toe, stubbed it, whatever. I don't care about Aaron Judge anymore. Okay, so they've got 39 wins. They're only two behind you. Yeah, but, I mean, they're still better. But let, let's talk about the fact that you predicted 85 wins, and now the experts are saying they'll probably be in the neighborhood of 87 wins, and they'll most likely be a... Well, they're, they're saying wild card, but I would not put it past them to win the division. Yeah, they're, they're probably going to win the division. Was that your prediction? I mean, I thought you were crazy to predict 85 wins because last year they had 74. They had a losing record. Um, the the fact that you, you know, thought they were going to jump up 11 games, that's a huge jump. But I, I'm very impressed so far. They, they've been a, a really good team. Yep. They're the best in their division by three games. As of this morning, they were uh, half a game. They, they were up half a game for the best record in the National League. Oh, I thought my dad would use his brain and um. Maybe I should send you this stuff on your iPad from now on. I, I thought he would actually use his brain, but now I have to go to here. I mean, this is way better. Um. How did I not use my brain? Because um, I need like the uh wild card spots and stuff, but you didn't put them on here. So that's on you. I, I can tell you what they are. Oh, but... Well, that's not fair. You're up by half a game just because you got to play one more game. That's not fair. Oh, wait. The uh, D-backs haven't played yet. Right. I get a little too angry. Go into rage mode? Yeah. I do not play that clip. I've been going in rage mode. <sighs> of course he played it. Of course, my dad can never use it. Use his brain. Mm-hmm. It's true. And you see that, um, there's a little paper on here that, there's a little paper on here that says 
there's a 43% chance of um, getting him a good gift for for Father's Day. And you know that chance just went down to, to 11%. 11%? Don't worry, I'll probably get you something at D-Back Stadium. I mean, I already have a gift for you, but it's not the best gift. I'll get you something at D-Back Stadium. What do you want? Like a hat, a glove? What do you want? A hat? Any gift you get me is going to be okay. great. I think I'm going to give you a boo Yankees jersey. Wouldn't that be great? Huh? Huh? <laughs> So, um, yeah, we also need to talk about something, how, what's that pitcher's name called? Nelson? Nasty. So there's a pitcher that I call Nasty Nelson. And if you look right here, you can see on the picture on his hat that there's a white spot, like, on the brim. I don't have a hat on. On the brim. Can I have your hat for a second? So, um... His is more of like a flat brim, brim, but like he has this white, he always has this white spot on here that's just like, it's just like always white. So he always just wears it and he just wipes his fingers across the edge and like, he's just super good though. He's just like a super good pitcher too. So he just wipes his fingers across it. And I don't think that's a little suspicious. I mean, he is from the D-backs, so we don't want to get him in trouble. But I don't know if they actually put in Nasty Nelson, but they do put in my Zach Gallen. It's like every Monday he plays. I wonder if Monday's his good day. Maybe that's when he broke the record. Was that on, um, what, what day was that? Do you remember? Well, I think it was a Wednesday. Do you know? Were they playing the Rockies? Wait, what? Oh, I'm talking about this guy. Zach Gallen? Yeah. Well, I was talking about Nasty Nelson. So what you were uh, alluding to was that in a couple of his games this year, there's been like a, a shiny area. Of white stuff. Uh, on well, the bill of not, his cat. It's definitely it's, discolored. It's not actually shiny, but um, it's just like a big like ovalish shape white stuff on it. Use your hat back. Your fault. So, what else do we have here? Um, so, right now, what is this? Okay. This is really disappointing. Because what is this? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, but I, it's... I don't know what this is. It's captivating podcasting. West Division, um... So th those are the percentage chances of them uh, making the playoffs. Oh, yeah. The predictions. So um, they're pretty good. But will, do they actually make the playoffs? Do they actually make the playoffs? Yeah, well, that's the prediction. But I it doesn't tell me here. Well, if, if you look in the script that I so nicely provided for you, it shows the different percentage chances for winning the division, for winning. Okay. So here we go. So they have a 21% chance of winning the division. That should be a 99.9999999% chance. You got to get past the Dodgers. And the odds of the D-backs making the postseason stands at it stand at You should have put stands at not stand at. I didn't know you were going to correct my grammar. Stands at 87%. <laughs> and they are like ha they're currently half a game back on the uh, Braves, so they're probably they're probably gonna win tonight. If they do win, then they'll win the series. They lost. Um. So they lost last night, fifteen to three. Yeah, it was a pretty uh pretty bad loss, but the the Phillies, you know. But they did win yesterday, nine to eight. What a walk off that was! Wait, did they walk it off? Eh, whatever. So, you got anything to say? No, you're doing a, a fantastic job. Okay. I have one thing to say. Want to say it into the microphone? Yeah. Um. So, you got me a, a 
no, I don't know if you got me one, but you, in my yard, I saw like this, it's not like one of those wiffle balls that have all these holes in it, but it's like half the side has holes in it. And I picked it up. I'm like, where do we get this from? Maybe when dad was cleaning the, uh, whatever it's called. Um, solar panels. Solar panels. He found it. Oh, can, it, can I tell you that uh, I knocked over the bucket and it, it, you know, made a huge noise crashing off the roof. Mm-hmm. And then hit the ground, making even more noise. Yeah. Uh, your mother never came out to check on me. <laughs> I, I could have been lying broken and bleeding <laughs> behind the house, and <laughs> she never. <laughs> and the, and it crashed right next to her her you know office door. If she can hear me knocking on the window to come in, she probably can hear that. Maybe she was hoping I fell off. <laughs> you should do that face more often on camera. Don't don't knock over the bobbleheads. So, um... Hmm. What else should we talk about? I, I don't know. It's your show. I wish the DVAX game was on. Oh, by the way, um, so we have a little thing right now that, um, guess what? The Yankees were supposed to play at 710. They haven't even played, and it's 744. I mean, 444, but 744 their time. Um, let's see here. What? No, wait. What? What? How is it? Never mind. Oh, this doesn't make sense. What do you mean they're still warming up? Maybe it got delayed. No, it didn't. I really hate this when people are not on time. Okay, so um, the MLB website is saying that Yankees Mets is delayed right now. We're just playing the rain. I don't know. If, I, I don't know why it's delayed. I'm no, it trying says to pull it up right here. Status change delayed start rain. Okay. Okay, so. How's your brother doing as the executive producer this he, week? He does nothing. Like, I fired him. Everybody on Twitter is saying he's doing a great job. What do you mean? Can I see those little Twitter things, huh? Yeah, we got we got lots of tweets coming in. So, guys, I need you guys to um, put in the comments down below who is be- who's the best player on the team between Corbin Carroll, Zach Allen, and... Give me one more. And Cattell Marte. I need to see in the comments who you say. So, yeah. And also, I need way more subscribers. Like, I need a ton more subscribers. I, I hope by the end of the summer, I at least have 50 subscribers. That'd be pretty cool. How many subscribers do we have? Uh, I think we have like 27. You just subscribed. Last time I checked, we had 26. I wonder who my subscribers are. There could there could be just like random person that just watches my show every day and he's and like the person's all the way in Maine. It could be. Could be. Or Ohio. Next year your uh, grandfather, your grand uh my dad, your grandfather. Yeah. Is going to be up in Maine, so he'll be watching from there. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll have maybe we have somebody all the way in Canada actually watching this. Yeah, that'd be fun. Get some Canadians. Do Canadians speak, speak English? What do you think? Yes. Yes. Okay. But some also speak French because there is uh, the French Canadians. Okay, I'm just going to read this. And Montreal, other news, my father, uh, blah, blah, blah. He does, you know, he does all this stuff. Uh, he does nothing. Um, I'll be visiting Chase Field this Sunday and look forward to seeing my first game there. Wow, that would be super fun. Oh, and also... For you, you seem really excited. Wow, yeah, that would be super fun. I'm super fun. excited. I feel like ripping this paper in half. Okay, well, that's making a really annoying noise on the, the microphone, too. Not going to get to 50 subscribers doing that stuff, kiddo. All right. And... Uh, oh, yeah. I'll also be playing catch on the field. And... Oh... Wait, and yeah, that's all. But I forgot to tell you about the story. So you interrupted me. Sorry. With that bucket story. That bucket story was awesome. Um, so 
so you know that ball I think it's in the corner there um, can you go grab that ball it's in the corner near the lap speaker oh well yeah I'm uh, just gonna be leading this thing from now on so oh did I ever tell you that um I got into the finals um, for my second year in a row but sadly no that's not the ball it's the one with the, just one side of holes do you see it well my dad can't use his eyes sometimes he needs those contacts yeah that's it so you see this ball right here so this is like a wiffle ball that can do a lot of movement and I know how to throw some stuff like this like you hold it like this you can also hold it like this and there's also that three finger fastball you can do and much more stuff and it can get like these weird turns but you know what I did when I tried using this it didn't do anything so I'm like who who somehow this popped up in your art your art art yard uh, this popped up in your yard in in my yard because it's mine now in my in my yard and I found it I'm like how did this get here we don't have any of these those are the kind of wiffle balls we played with growing up yeah I wish I st I wish we had more of these uh, we could buy some more um but one question is how did how did this get in my yard I I'm not sure I hear some noise picking up on the thing yeah I heard some yelling I think that's probably yeah you know. did you hear about uh John Sterling your your favorite announcer <laughs> yeah what did he do did he get fired no he didn't get fired but during a game uh, a player hit a foul ball you know fouled it off and it went up into the into the press box and hit him in the head Ooh, it was crazy oh i need to see that video it is a stantonian home run yeah, so he gets hit, and he's like, ow, 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 ow. But then the, the guy that fouled it off signed him uh, signed a ball and said, nowhere is safe. <laughs> <laughs> Got to work on that, uh, that laugh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so this ball really does nothing. It's super squishy. I need more of these, and I, and, um, I really know how to get that ball to curb. Yeah. So, yeah. Anything? Oh, it's top of the first. Ooh, strike one. I didn't do anything. Who's it top of the first for? The Yankees. Okay. Well, we should go watch the game. Well, um, that failed. So, do you guys, um, I don't think I've showed you guys my new D-back Crocs. Pretty fire, right? I got the new Nike kicks. I got my Nike kicks on it. I got my basketball going into the hoop. I got my Sprite. I got my Supreme. What do you call those things? Um, they're like croc pins. And also I got my Rubik's Cube baseball and Supreme and um, the American flag. And for my left shoe, my favorite one, chick fil -A. Put comments. I think I lost a... Yeah, I lost um I lost a thing. Which one did you lose? Um oh, I gotta put that back on. Uh I think it was Oh the Rubik's Cube. I put it on the wrong one. There we go. So you see this Chick fil A one? This is my favorite. We got Charmander, we got my money, we got the apple, and the Rubik's Cube, I already showed that one, so that's all. Those are pretty cool uh, Crocs. I see they have your name on them. Yeah, um, in the back, but I usually put them in sports mode, because I think this one's, this mode's too big. Oh, okay. Cruise control. Nice. And so, yeah, and, yeah, also, you, you guys like my, um, bobbleheads here? Um, I decided to add in my A's one. It's pretty cool. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
So I think that will be all for today. No, no quiet game this week. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh, you know where I learned that? Where'd you learn that? From the Minions Rise of Gru. It was like, hey, um, you know what we should play? The quiet game. And then you just the Minions hold, held their breath, and then he just fainted. So that'll be all today. I want you to like. Let's see if we can get at least, I'm going big this time, 200 likes. Let's see. It's totally free. Totally free. Subscribe. Totally free, too. And hit that bell. Ding, 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 ding. That way you get notifications. Yep. Every time there's a new episode. Hopefully we can get, like, at least 150 views. I think you can do it. Yep, we can. This is the Brennan Moran Show. Logging off. Brennan Moran. All right, Brennan. Thanks for uh, agreeing to do this uh, post-game press conference. Did the episode go according to plan for you today? I think it did go according to plan. Okay. It looked like your dad had prepared a script for you. Uh, was that a help or... Yeah, that was pretty helpful. Did, did you feel like you relied on it, or did you just go off on your own? Uh, I think probably mostly I relied on it. Okay, uh, I'm reporting from the uh, Arizona Republic. Uh, obviously, you, you have one of the most popular uh, Diamondbacks podcasts out there. Yeah. Uh, how, how does that help you when you're you're trying to deal with the team? Does it give you... Uh, more gravitas to get interviews. Hmm? Uh, Have you been able to get any interviews because of the uh, podcast? No. I really wish I could get like Tyler Gilbert, maybe Corbin Carroll on here. Do you feel that the, the show is growing to the point where you can go to spring training next year and uh, really be the definitive podcast for Diamondbacks baseball? Uh, pro mm, I don't know. Uh, from the uh, San Diego Union Tribune, uh, how do you prepare for the podcast? Do you do, like, vocal exercises? No, I just think about what I'm going to say. I get all my stuff here, get my iPad just in case I need facts and stuff or, like, standings. Do, do you feel that the, the A's bobblehead was holding you down? What do you mean? Do you, do you feel like it was holding you back this episode? What do you mean holding me back? Do, do you think it fits in with the overall Diamondbacks theme that I you're mean, going for? I mean, like, I did get him from one of my, like, I had, like, a private coach. So you, this is the, the first episode that your brother uh, executive produced. How do you, you feel that went overall with the, the entire episode? He really did. He didn't really do anything. The only thing he actually did was actually help me, like, get a chair so I, I can sit on something, you know. Did he contribute any money to the production of the show? No. Do you, do you feel that he should have contributed some money? Yes. Uh, is he going to be made available to the press here at the press conference? We may have to fire him. Uh, how, how do you fire the executive producer if the executive producer is the boss? Yeah, I, I well, think I will fire him. Actually, you. we never actually hired him, so... Can, can we ask him a question? Yes. Um, how much do you plan to contribute to the show? Well... The current revenue of the show is zero dollars, so I think it needs to start, and we're actually losing money currently. We need um, more subscribers, clearly, and this is definitely not helping the show. But, like, this does not, no, 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 it does not contribute to the Diamondbacks logo and theme, so I will take that away. Can, can I have my A's bobblehead back? Because I, I think you're fired. You're fired. You're, you're gone. Breaking news here at the press conference. Keegan Moran has been fired as the executive producer. Uh, do you plan to hire your brother back as the executive producer next week? If he actually do, does good stuff, then yes. I, I contributed my valuable Oreos to the fueling of this podcast. Do you eat Oreos before every episode? No. Just this episode, right? do, do you feel that eating uh, Oreos during the episode would help? No.
Do you think maybe you could get some of that big Oreo money into the show? I mean, we don't need Oreos. You know what we do need? We need more subscribers, views. Well, thanks, Brendan. We, we appreciate your time at the press conference. Okay. Thank you.